there you are. These guys are 1.5 times more brutal than those earlier ones. Get ready now, guys. You're only one step away from receiving your pardons. Do as you wish. However, those are innocent prisoners who were put in Hades by the Corruptiment, right? How is it fair to use them by bribing them with pardons? Can you live with yourself? They're nothing but criminals! What did you say? We're innocent! We were just being demons! The Corruptiment just came up with some bullshit excuse and imprisoned us! Then consider what you're doing. You're dealing with the Corruptiment, who turned you into criminals in the first place. Don't you think it's foolish to trust them to keep their promise? <laughs> That's... What do you say? Shall we join forces? Join forces? Realizing the current state of our rotten Corruptiment, my lord here has stepped up to take over the regime. Take over the regime? He's planning to defeat my father and take over the Corruptorment? You are? I am? Why do you sound so surprised? Didn't you know all about this? Of course he wasn't aware of this. I decided this for him at my own discretion. My lord proclaimed that he would beat the President and the Corruptorment into shape, so I came up with my own plan of action. What my lord must do, I must also do. What I must do, my lord must also do. In other words, we are as one. That being said, there's no problem with me making any of his decisions for him. Indeed, as expected of you, Fenric. It's quite considered of you to come up with such an ambitious agenda for us. <laughs> All is for my lord. So, what kind of relationship do you two have again? starting to seem pretty creepy. So, what do you say, prisoners? When we usurp this regime, you shall all be granted ranks and positions suitable to your service. Huh. Usurping the regime? Who'd believe in such dreamy nonsense? Whoa, whoa, hey now! This is my dream! Mine! Where I become the president of the netherworld! Enough of this! My father would never be defeated by you peons! He's right! How could a lowly Brinny instructor possibly defeat the president? Do you think you'll ever get what you want by giving up so easily? You see, this is why you're all nothing but side characters. So what? Why don't you show us what you got then? Yeah, that's right. We'll decide whether we want to join you after that. As you wish! I'll show you what I've got. The power of sardines! Uh, aside from that, please just prove to them that you have enough power to usurp the regime. I just love the way that guy says bullshit. That ghost? <laughs> oh, cracks me up every time. Not to mention, I'm almost surprised that it's in this... What, what's this game rated, anyway? Is it... T for teen. Yeah. Uh, it's, it still just surprises me. Um, alright. Uh, th this map ain't so bad, uh... I mean, you have to split up your party if you want to take this out and make this efficient, but, um... Time to bust yeah. some balls! You can actually... Yeah, remove... Yeah, I, those, those, um, gargoyles have good enough defense as is, the defense plus 50 would just be really annoying. Um, although, if I wanted to, I could have lifted up the block and move it closer and I'd be the only one that benefits from the defense plus 50%. Um, remember, you, you don't have to destroy Geo blocks. you can pick them up and throw them and use them yourselves. Um, I often forget about that. But alright, last time we covered uh, Orcs. Uh, no. And, yeah, Orcs and Beastmasters. Um, this time, we're gonna go over the... Uh, the Thief. That's that little cat-like girl with the, with the ears. Alrighty, let's see here. The main function of a good thief is to take powerful equipment away from monsters. 
If you carefully watch enemies, especially in the item world, you'll find that they sometimes have rare and or high quality gear. This happens fairly often, and stealing items from such creatures is more lucrative than waiting for bonus gauge items to give you what you need. Thus, a party with a thief should look to buy gloves items from the store. Keep the highest grade gloves in your inventory and set your thieves to use these items to snag goodies from opponents. Always steal from behind and keep your thief well leveled. Enemies that are substantially more powerful won't be easy marks. That's not all thieves do though. These characters move quickly. Put three sets of shoes on a thief and watch them blow away everyone else when it comes to covering territory. Um, yeah, their natural movement is six. So with three normal shoes, they can do nine spaces. Uh, this helps thieves to grab and manipulate geo blocks to reach the exit gates in the character world and to generate, sorry, and generally get around wherever they're needed. Yeah, see, they're all meant to be. Um, because thieves aren't meant for mainline combat anyway, the loss of several armor pieces won't mean much to them, especially since their preferred weapons are bows and guns. Uh, both weapons that are good from the distance. Um, they have two unique class skills. Create a box. If you need to create a tower of objects or want to have something to stand on, go ahead and use this skill. Boxes and barrels aren't useful too often, but you might need an extra height or to block off an area. And create a barrel. Uh, similar to boxes, only they explode when you throw them. I don't know how an arrow made a hole in the middle of space, but I'm glad it did. Good job, this guy. Um, aptitudes for a... No, let's skip aptitudes. Let's go to abilities first. That's kind of the important part. Um, thief skills, its base ability, is doubles the success rate of stealing. Um, thieves, unlike other classes, always have a bare minimum of 1% from stealing. And the bigger the level difference between you and the enemy, um the smaller that number is going to be. Many normal characters who they try to steal and the enemy is much higher will be uh, 0%. Stealing is a very complicated mechanic, even I don't fully understand it, and I usually read an FAQ um, that, but know that if your character is at a higher level than the, than the enemy, uh, you will always have a good chance of stealing. I can't remember if I think thieves could also get to a 99% chance steal rate, and I think non-thieves only had a maximum of 50 or 49, uh, but but still, uh, if you don't want to bother raising a thief, yeah, in fact, that would explain its ability, making it go to 99, but if you don't want to bother raising a thief, because admittedly, they are hard to fight with and level up, um, they really have to kill the stragglers, stragglers, um, just, just know that stealing can still be done if you have one, you know, super godlike character and you just grind the shit out of him. Uh, next, evade danger skill. Nullifies damage from bombs. Uh, heart steal. Allows thieves to steal stats from the targets. Um, that's only useful. I, <laughs> I can't remember anybody ever talking about that being useful. And finally, Lucky Finger provides one rank of better loot when breaking when breaking open treasure chests. So remember, weapons have rank. If a weapon, if you open a chest and it was going to be, say, an Imperial Seal, it instead would be the next be rank better and be a um, uh, what do they call that? A bloody Rosary. I think that's what it was. Bloody Rosary. Um, yeah, so I guess if you're gonna have a thief anyway, this would be the other ability to have. Um, but I, 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 like I said, I've tried using um, these before, but they're hard to level up, and if you have a really strong character enough, you know, 50% chance isn't bad. The the item, the the gloves don't go away when you use them. Um, well, I mean, they go away if you steal successfully, but they don't go away if you miss. So, you know, as long as you're stronger, just try and steal, you know, each turn. I, 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 I haven't, I know a lot of people make thieves, and it might make your job a little bit easier, um, but again, uh, I haven't noticed as much 
I mean, stealing is vital if you want to collect um, specific to get the best armor in the game because you have to go into a rank 39 weapon down to the 100th floor and steal from the item god in the Land of Carnage to get the best weapon of each tier. So stealing is essential, but again, if you have a strong enough character, um, you will be able to, you'll have a good enough chance to get it. So a thief isn't necessary, but it can be easier. Uh, let's see, HP aptitude for the thief is 80, SP 110, attack 90, defense 80, intelligence 100, resistance 90, hit 100, and speed 120. As you can see, those aptitudes are pretty poor. These guys are not fighters. Oh yeah, their resistance is 50% fire, 25% wind, and negative 50% ice. The class progression is Thief, Rogue, Scout, Bandit, Trickster, and Master Thief. Surprised there wasn't a pickpocket. Uh, let's see, Master Thief's um, attributes. HP, 90. It didn't even break 100. SP 135, Attack 100, Defense 90, Intelligence 125, Resistance 100, Hit 125, Speed 145. Alright, so good speed, you know, at least they'll be hard to hit in facing forward if you prioritize that. And, with, and if you give them nothing but shoes, they will be really hard to hit because shoes also increase your speed attribute. Um, so yeah, that's Thieves in a nutshell. I don't... I... I tried raising one, I didn't really see the benefits. Uh, it didn't outweigh the cons and trying to level them up if you ask me. A lot of people make them. By all means, make one if you want one. Um, but I don't think there's as much to steal as there were in previous games. I knew a lot of characters had um, special one-time items. There might be just as many in this game, I don't know, I'm not that far yet. Slimy headbutt. I like how it just sounds like an eagle when it levels <laughs> up. Um, I like how I'm going for a team attack with mages in it. You know, they'll probably do like zero damage. Okay, a miss and nine. Guess which one missed, guess which, guess which one did nine damage. <laughs> How dare you make me resort to using fire on a fire-resistant character. Grr. Brace yourself. Here's where the sound actually skipped at first. It was weird. It, the, the, the visuals were fine, but the sound just repeat itself. So I had to cut that out. It's so weird the way this recording works. Kind of frustrating. Um, although a trick I'm noticing helping is sometimes when I was um, editing this afterwards, um, certain frames would just re repeat itself and the sound and um, visuals would actually desync when I didn't even change anything. It, it was inconsistent. So I had to render the video before I even started to add commentary. Really weird. Well, that's it for this one. Legendary cross trainers, and I can make a red blob. <laughs> no way! Even though our powers are being restrained, we're still former overlords. How could a mere pretty instructor possess so much power? Don't be so surprised. Who do you think the man who stands before you is? Being a pretty instructor was just a disguise. He is Lord Valvatores, formerly known as the tyrant who enthralled all humanity within the depths of fear. Tyrant Valvatores, the bloodthirsty king of fear. Y you mean, the blood-soaked Valvatoras of absolute evil? Th the king of carnage and atrocity? Hmm. I'd almost forgotten about all those old aliases. Those were cute. Huh? I didn't...
didn't know you were so famous around here. Hey, wait a second. Don't try to steal the spotlight in my dream. Tyrant Valvatoris? I thought he was just a printing instructor. I can't believe it. I never would have imagined my childhood hero had become a printing instructor. I heard he went missing after he lost all his power. I didn't know he was still around. Usurping the regime. He might actually be able to pull it off. Wait, there's still no proof that he's the real Valvatoris. I mean, sure, he showed us his power, but... <laughs> This is bad. Nobody told me he was such a big fish. He didn't put that on his resume when he was applying for the pretty instructor position. He's a fraud. What are you going to do, Warden Axel? Should you go along with him, or should you keep sucking up to the corruptment? Hey, we can hear you, you know. Warden Axel, are you going to betray me? Uh, <laughs> uh, please, young master, you're just hearing things. We made a vow to each other as comrades. Why would I ever betray you? To prove it, I've got one last ace up my sleeve in case of an emergency. Right this way, young master. Wait! I hope he's not thinking about releasing the seal of the Forbidden Chamber! The Forbidden Chamber? He better not! If he releases that monster, this place, no! The entire Netherworld will be destroyed! Well, they scattered like birds. I've heard about the occupant of the Forbidden Chamber, but how bad can it be? It must be pretty bad if all those brutal criminals are scared of it. <laughs> I'm kinda excited! <laughs> no monster or beast can stop me. Since I seem to have a new goal, total regime usurpation! Bullshit excuse, bullshit excuse, bullshit excuse, bullshit excuse, bullshit excuse, bullshit excuse. Bullshit excuse. Bullshit excuse.